The rumors, it appears, were true. Tiger Woods was not only offered a king's ransom to leave the PGA Tour enjoying live golf, he turned down approximately three quarters of a billion dollars to do so. Live Golf CEO Greg Norman confirmed this week on Fox News that Woods turned down somewhere in the neighborhood of $700 million or $800 million to flip the script on the PGA Tour. That number was out there before I became CEO, said Norman. So, that number has been out there, yes. And look, Tiger is a needle mover, right? So, of course you are going to look at the best of the best. So, they had originally approached Tiger before I became CEO. So, yes, that offer was somewhere in that neighborhood. Previously, Norman had not confirmed a specific number, only saying that the offer to Woods from Liv was in the high nine digits. It was recently announced that Woods has crossed the threshold to become a billionaire, so he didn't necessarily need another $750 million, it's still an eye-popping number to not only be offered but project. It also would have multiplied his career PGA Tour earnings by a healthy factor. Woods has made $120.9 million on the PGA Tour. All the other money has earned has come from off-course endorsements. It was smart of Liv to offer Woods this much money, and Terry's probably not a number too high that it wouldn't have been worth it for the league as long as its goal is still to upend the PGA Tour and DP World Tour as the preeminent golf tour in the world. The players they need for that to happen. The Justin Thomases, Rory McIlroys, Jordan Spiats and Scotty Schefflers, grew up idolizing Woods. 